Hello and welcome. In the previous video, we learned how we did the billing. So I just refreshed my page and everything works fine after that. I hope it works the same for you. So now it installed my app with a seven days free trial and everything is looking fine. If I go to my app, this is how it is going to work. It is still have this information that I have stored because when you delete the app, it is going to call a webhook like uninstall webhook so you can find out about uninstall webhook in the documentation here so if you search for the webhooks you can create webhooks and let me check if there is an uninstall here nope 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 so it is not here but there is an a webhook that will be called if someone uninstall your app so if someone uninstall your app, you can run maybe a like SQL query to delete all their information from your store. But currently, if I check out the wishlist, all those data, data exists here. It is not recommended to delete those information because sometimes people delete the app and then they later come back to your store. Make sure you have stored their old information. Unless there is a button for your app and then you can call people, hey, you want to clean all your data? then you can clean it up. Otherwise, there are so many times people uninstall your app because something is not working and then they install again. If they have your, your information and your webhook delete them, then it is going to be um, like bad user experience. So I think that's it for this video and I hope this video series has been informative and the rest of the videos are a little bit different. So it is um, about creating documentation for your app. And I'm going to make a few videos about that and then we will wrap up the course and you can start making your own app. I know I did not cover everything you have to know, but this is going to be too long and I'm not going to take too much of your time because apps are different, like the apps that you create might be different than any other app. For example, in the front end of the page, if you check it out, we don't have a wishlist page here. Like if someone add a product to the wishlist, they should be able to access those wishlists. I didn't cover that. The reason is because I showed you how you can create a template in the th in the theme. When someone install it, when someone install your app in the theme, it warn you with uh, a warning when you click on that. It is going to tell people, hey, you want to configure it with your theme. And then we were adding a snippet to the, the active theme. Instead of a snippet, you can create a template and then people can create a page and then they assign that uh, template and then they can link it. I don't know. However you want, based on the app you have, those are the possibilities you can do. But that is how I wrap up this course here. But for the next videos, I'm going to use a, a tool called Viewpress. It is built with Vue.js and it is a great way to create documentation for your app. And I'm not sure when I'm recording the video about this one, but it is very easy. So you can just watch a few videos on YouTube around how you can create documentation with Viewpress. So simple, so easy. And it also have like codings. You can code highlighter, use the code highlighter to tell people how you can use it. And there are many, uh, are not many, a few apps I have seen. They have a nice documentation that use Viewpress too. So uh, yeah, that's it for this video series and thank you for watching and i hope you are going to great i hope you are going to make the great product in the future